Hello everybody, my name is Rick Utzer with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian from Aragon Web TV. Today we're going to take a look and do a full review of the Gamma Magnums. Now I know you guys have been wanting this like crazy. And Aaron, you, you've been the guy actually testing these things. Yep, I pulled these out of the box. Uh, I've spent many, uh, many an hour trying to uh, find the right pellets for these. And uh, you've tested, what, about 8 to 10 pellets per rifle? Um, about 11 to 12, actually. Okay. Um, I tried some of the, the off-brands, too, to see, you know, if they would do well. And, man, I think I found the best ones to happen to be um, H&N, the Sniper Magnums. Um, they are 15 grain in the 177, and they just tack drive. You know, you need that extra weight to calm this gun down. Absolutely. Even the heavier pellets are tipping that sound barrier, and it's just so loud, but if you kill a little heavier, like those H&N Sniper Mags, it keeps it below supersonic. I mean, we are at, what feet are we at here, guys? 8,000 feet -ish? We're we're a, little, we're a little over 8,000 feet right here. So that really actually reduces the velocity quite a bit. We're not even gonna do crony testing up here in the woods because you've already done the crony testing. You posted the numbers up on the first look videos you've done. Today we wanna talk about usability and accuracy and uh, well, they, they work good and they're accurate. What do you <laughs> they're fantastic. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> We're going to get to that. Uh, I went hunting with this up here for the Kaibab squirrels and did very well with it at range, 45, 50 plus yards. Uh, it did very well. So uh, that's something for a, you know, a break barrel rifle. I mean, that's pretty darn gone good and I was very happy with it. For me, the pellets that have been working the best have been the Gamble Red Fires. Um, gamma with gamma. I mean, yeah, th well, these guys, these particular gamma pellets, really delivered for me with this gun at this elevation. Um, I think at a lower elevation, you may want to go a little heavier. Mm -hmm. Maybe like go with the Barracuda Hunter Extremes or, or Barracuda Match. Barracuda Match or the JSB 18.13s. Those are good. But up here, boy, it just loved the red fire. Something about that just balanced out. So you get in that, you know, 5,000 plus feet. You know, you can go with some of these pellets like the Red Fires, be surprised what kind of accuracy you'll get. Just a minute about the elevation. This is something that I'm not new to. Uh, I had, you, I don't know if you've seen it. I've got the, uh, hundred, the one of the original Hunter Extremes built in England, made in England on the mm -hmm. side of it. And it's a 1500 foot per second 177. I couldn't hit the broad side of the barn with that thing in South Carolina, just terrible. I took it to Texas, 4,600 feet, and all of a sudden, I could hit stuff, and it was that change in elevation. Just took the edge a little bit off the gun, and it performed great. Took out jackrabbits like a dream. Now you may say, well, then we can't use it at lower elevation. What's the point? Well, well that's not necessarily true. I mean, you can still use it. You just got to find the right pellet. There you go. You find a heavier pellet. It gives you more capabilities because if you take a medium power gun up to this elevation, well, they just sort of dribble out the yeah, barrel. You a just, medium power becomes a low power. Yeah, and so this gives you that capacity to really shoot in all environments. You find the right pellet at sea level, you find the right pellet up in elevation, and you're still very, very effective. I think that's something that's important to talk about in these ultra magnums that people may think, you, you know, what's the point? Well, there's a good point. It gives you a lot of flexibility, and what ammo you use, you find the right one, and it puts the game down. Absolutely. Now, the other thing we're going to talk about is just some of the features of the gun. And we got a yellow jacket here that is very interested. He in loves Gamo that 22. Products. He loves that 22 Magnum. Yeah, I'm going to just let you talk about the features of your gun, okay. and we'll just let Mr. Yellow Jacket do whatever he wants to do except sting me. Well, the features are pretty much going to be the exact same on both guns. You got your all weather texturized thumb hole stock. Um, you got your recoil reducing rail. You got your true glow fiber optic front sight and rear. Um, and the rear sight is micro click fully adjustable. Exactly. If so you like to hunt uh, or shoot without a scope, it's one of the few sights. guns you're going to find really that are maintaining that open sight uh, opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually nice to have, you know, for those if you're close range shooting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a scope is a detriment those open sights work great i think one of the best features though is the custom action trigger from gamma okay um i like a really short first stage and just you know set second stage and i think it's perfect for this 177 magnum um we uh we threw on the hawk 4 to 12 by 40 ao um, they came originally with an ao scope a 3 to 9 um, which was pretty good but we wanted a little bit more rigidity and to take well, really, that shock better well i think what we really wanted was the mill dots Yes. Okay, that was the key for me is that 
that the, the mill dots give us the ability to, to estimate range. And these particular scopes, they're a little older model from Hawks, just some stuff I had around the shop. Um, but they have the MAP6 reticle, which matches chair gun. If you mm. do the math, take your, your app out with you in the field, you can actually, you know, you know, all right, at 50 yards, I'm two hashes high, and uh, aim too high at 25 yards, I'm a hash low. Uh, that's how this gun is uh, particularly set up. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm able to shoot true with that and having that range estimation on the hill, on the mill dot or the hash marks in this particular case. Definitely helps um, you out. Makes a big difference. Yeah. So, yeah, Agreed. that was the big reason for me to switch them out. Agreed. Anything else? No, I think uh, that's that's pretty much it. I, well, I do have to mention that it's Gamo's five-year warranty. Oh, that's that, huge. Okay. That is, that is probably one of the best things. Um, well, you can buy with confidence, right? Absolutely. You know, people are talking about what happens in a year, what happens in two years. Well, if something happens in five years of you owning it and it's a mechanical defect or manufacturer's defect, you ship it off to them and they'll take care of it for you. And that's, uh, I think that's Gamo standing behind the product and supporting their customers. Tell you what I like was the, the lack of weight. They are pretty light. I've shot a lot of big, heavy springers lately. And look, that has their point. It helps reduce some of the recoil, makes them a little more shootable. But if you're humping out in the woods and you're hiking three, four, five miles as a big fat guy like me, I don't want to carry more weight. I've already carried enough. So, you know, the fact that this is a light rifle, I like it quite a definitely, bit. Definitely makes the difference. Um, so it's six, seven pounds. It's not heavy. Um, and uh, it's gas ram, which I kind of go either way. A tuned springer is great. Um, but I kind of like the gas ram in this. It's good, sharp recoil. Uh, it's got a good, sharp recoil. <laughs> yes, it does. The Mach 1 gas piston definitely it, it's smacks beastly. the crap out of you. It's beastly. Uh, but it does a good job. It doesn't have any torque. Uh, and it, I think it helps with the shootability. Um, I guess that's about it for me. You know, the other thing I guess we'll talk about is the Gamo Pro Shot ID system. Yes. Okay, so 22 caliber green band for hunting, right? And red 177 caliber for plinking and recreation. Yeah, and they call they throw that pesting too. So if you if you like if you want to shoot targets and have fun with your grandkids or whatever, they got to be pretty big to cock that thing. But you get the point. If you're out shooting in your backyard. You know, this is probably the better option. Absolutely. You know? And a little rat or a little little tiny rabbit or squirrel or something comes around, boom, in you're your done. In you want to clear your garden yeah, out. Exactly. Like that. If you want to go out in the woods and do some hunting at 40, 50 yards, which is what we were doing. I would pick that one. The, the green band, the hunting, that tells you, you know, what you need to be looking at. And they have their ammo that matches. For the gamo ammo, again, I'm on the fence. Some of their stuff, I'm, it's okay. I'm not a real fan of it. The red fires, however, are the exception to that sort of opinion. They shoot very well. They're devastating on target. They're probably a little light for this gun uh, at sea level, you know, at regular elevations. Uh, they'll go supersonic, very loud. Um, and at close range, they are devastating, but the accuracy isn't going to be there at longer ranges. That's where you go with the heavier pellet. Exactly. For this gun, they've just been great. I mean, whether it's 25 yards or 50 yards, the rep fires have been very, very good. You've had a lot of fun with them. I have had a lot of fun with them. Well, we've talked about them. I don't know what else we can say. You guys want a full review. I think what we really need to show you now is us shooting them on target and actually putting some lead down range. We're going to set up. We'll be right back. Stay with us. So now uh, we're ready for accuracy testing. I got yeah. the Gamo Magnum and 177. Uh, I'm going to be shooting sniper Magnums. You're not cold, are you? Uh, no, I'm a barbarian, man. Come on. <laughs> It got cold here all of a sudden. It did get a little nippy, but you know, we've been out here for a week, so we're a little used to it. All right. Pellet pen, very, very handy. Absolutely. Especially if you're out hunting with these things. Yep. Now, while he's doing that, and I'm wiggling the table, um, hold is very, very important, and consistency in your hold is critical with these Ultra Magnums. Even with a gas ram, if you don't hold them exactly the same way, you're done. Go for it, Aaron. A little low and left, but not too bad. Now, I am not going to adjust. Just shoot groups. I just want the groups. Sun came out on you too. Because you know the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> uh, that go just a little high? A little bit higher, yep. We're shooting at 26 yards. It's really in earnest, you know, as a plinking, you know, type of a gun. 
Yeah. Twenty six yards is bad. actually. Yeah, it's right where you want it to be. I think it's a little far, but but it. Uh, high right or just a little up right yeah it's traveling a little bit but we do have a little bit of wind coming from the left no it's the you know 20 26 yards is the outside edge of what this gun is supposed to be able to shoot accurately at let's just see what it finishes up here that's not bad at all yeah i mean if so i you were, had if i were plinking out in the backyard i would be perfectly happy oh with yeah that. i mean i'd be hitting my target yeah and really if you Take a look at the top half of that group. Mm -hmm. It's well within. Well within an inch. Yeah, no, that's excellent. Okay. That's fantastic. So now it's my turn. Up. All right. 22 Magnum. Okay, I'm going to shoot through. Can you have the box? Absolutely. Now, I want to make same. every excuse in the world right here. You ready? This there is what we, we do. If I was racing, I would just say the track was wet. You know, I'm all kinds of stuff. But Be prepared, folks. <laughs> but. I normally shoot off my shooting sticks. How's uh, how's that 51 pound cocking lever? Uh, you know, I work out well, right I'm... around 51 pounds. That's... I don't have to go to the gym nearly as much. <laughs> all right. That's all the gym you need right there. Shoot, man. Let's buy it on you. <laughs> A little low, right? But I mean, you're right there. <sighs> So here's excuse number one. I normally have been shooting off my shooting stick, so you know, I'm a little off my game. Will you take that? No. Gosh, man, I'll tell you what. Come on, I can't cut you no slack. I tell you what, though, that 22 definitely makes a bigger hole. Oh, I pulled it. Shot number three. Oh, you need some padding now. Okay. I'll tell you, take every advantage I can get. Ready? You just say him hold that one. Yeah. What I found when you guys are picking pellets, you want a pellet that really sits tight in the breech. If it's loose, it will not shoot as well. And those red fires really are tight, snug yeah. in there. Whoa, that one dropped way low, buddy. What happened there? I don't know. No, I mean, we, we do what we do. Let's see. Bad pellet, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it could have been having some flashing or something on it. Yeah, see, you're right there. There we go. It had to have been the pellet. Every now and then. Is sometimes... that excuse number three or four? <laughs> Every now and then, you, you get a bad pellet. <laughs> we'll just go with a bad pellet. Yeah, see, I mean, yep. it had to have been pellet, or your cold could have been slightly off. I could have off. shanked it, yep. But you are, you know... Right I'm there. Do, I'm those, gonna do one more. That set up there, that is all well within an inch. Okay. Yep. There we go. I think that'll do. Yeah, so that was all legitimate shots like about like that at 20, 26 yards. I'll take it. So guys, I don't know what else you want more for a full review. We've talked about the features. We've talked about the warranty we've talked about the power we've shown you different crony numbers we've shown you what it can do i mean that's about it i think these are a great option from gamo they're not terribly expensive you get your hold right you get the right pellet enough time behind the trigger and you can get some really good groups i think that's about it for me aaron i don't know you want you have anything else you want to throw in there um no i think you pretty much covered it i mean we we covered all the bases you guys need to buy these like I absolutely great gun. yeah if you're looking for that well it's the most powerful gun gamma makes if that's what you're looking for there this it is, is. Gonna, this is going to be it if that's the kind of performance you're looking for there you go so that's it for me my name is rick Uchen with Aragon web and i'm aaron the barbarian with Aragon web tv thanks for watching